what's up everybody and welcome back to some more once human right now we are picking up right where we left off we got a few quests to do we've got places to explore and uh apparently i have to replace my my home again because i logged in and they said that uh it's either because i've been offline for some time or there was a world fusion but it looks like a lot of the places nearby me are kind of gone too so in a way this this kind of works out um so we're going to try moving down here, see if we can get a little bit of a closer spot for us to get the uh, the house started, and then we'll uh, keep going from there. But thank you for all the support on the previous episodes. Uh, this series has been doing way better than I anticipated. But I really do appreciate all the support, uh, whether you're watching the first episode, you're catching up. I know it's been a few days since I did a recording, so I'm trying to, uh, to catch up on it and and get ahead of you guys because you just been every single video uh has been doing a lot better than i expected so thank you uh, i really do mean it i really do but we'll see if we hit 20 likes or above we've been exceeding it on every other episode so i uh, i don't know i don't know if to if i should increase it but i don't want to do too much so i guess we'll see once the relocation starts, all building structure will be moved directly to a new location while furniture and facilities will be disassembled and saved in your territory vault. Yeah, we'll go ahead and place this here. Yeah, this is fine. It's a little bit closer. Um, and I think it's more like closer to the ground too, which is kind of nice. Okay, so time to figure out what to do next. Uh, it's been a little bit, so... I remember the controls and everything. Oh, did the game just like freeze? Yeah, like froze for a second there. Let me go ahead and check the map here. So we got to go back over here. Welcome back. Talk to Clara and talk to Samuel Lowe. View Mary's messages. I, I'm going to try to follow the quest line right now. We took down our first boss last time, which is kind of cool. Like a little bit of a raid. Uh, there is a party system, but it doesn't seem to be fully there just yet. Uh, so we'll see about that. Let's see if I can hop on this. It says there's an unread email. Well, they had some maintenance, some free items from that. Okay, not bad. 10 million pre-register achievement email exceeded 10 million that's crazy social media okay the event scarlet dragons horde is now active acquire 50 light four medals to claim the exclusive fashion set let's see can we actually oh it's this thing oh that's kind of cool yo that actually looks sick <laughs> scarlet dragon top participate in the event to get it and then we've also got some other stuff here yeah i need to keep an eye on my sanity because now i i realized what that actually does um last time let me check my gear yeah i swapped out my gun for the smg this time around the shotgun that i was using was not great it was actually pretty uh pretty tough for what i was when I was doing damage and stuff. Yeah, we're gonna go straight to the objective. Let's go see what we got here. I don't know why the game's, uh, seems like it's lagging a little bit. Haven't really made any changes. There's been like one or two updates since I last played. But we'll probably go like the same length as the last few episodes for this. It's still been really cool. Um, I looked up how long this like test is going to be running. It's apparently going to be going for like 40 days ish. So I'm assuming I, I think that would be sometime into the middle of uh, May ish. A lot of people have been playing Fallout, which has been really cool to see. I personally have been loving my my playthrough of three again on stream. That's that's been a ton of fun. Let's right, stop here another player yeah I'm not sure where it's up right now but it's like itching a little bit here and there let's talk to Claire first 
We've eliminated the ravenous hunter. Hey, you're back. Any luck? I recovered your goods, but... Yeah, I see what you're trying to say. I figured things went wrong when my team didn't come back, but... I still had my hopes, you know? I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, don't worry about me. I've been through the ringer plenty of times before. I still owe you my thanks for finding out what happened. And for bringing back my stuff. Here's the reward I promised. I'm a woman of my word. Well, now that that's settled, I think I'll move my trade over to the Broken Delta. If you need anything, come find me in Meyer's Market there. Okay. Is this person just constantly swapping their weapons? I can't tell. I really don't know. Is this... No, it can't be another player. Because they don't have the backpack on. Check message from Mary. Investigate. Like be able to handle yourself just fine. I'll leave the deviation in there to you. As for me... I'm headed to the Broken Delta. I found traces of another major deviation there. Ooh. One with even worse effects. You should head over and check it out. Try asking around at a settlement called Myers Market. Maybe I'll see you there. Maybe. That's so it seems like we're all headed that way. Tell Lo that you've eliminated the ravenous hunter. Bravo! The mayfly that brought down the fearsome ravenous hunter. That's me. Hard to imagine such a little bit of gel <laughs> transforming into such a monstrous creature, isn't it? Or that it could have caused such chaos across the wetlands simply by spreading its memetics. Just to make sure, you didn't destroy it, did you? Of course not. Fantastic. You've more than proven yourself, I must say. It's a shame that most people don't appreciate the beauty of these fascinating entities. But clearly, you are different. I'd be glad to share my knowledge of deviations with you. I only have one small favor to ask in return. Capture as many of them as you can for me. Gotta catch them all. How do you know so much about deviations? I simply pay attention and use my imagination. I think the deviations respect that. To quote a favorite poem of mine, I know that I exist because you imagine me. Huh. You've tra uh, traversed the Dayton wetlands and now you're ready to step into far more dangerous Broken Delta region. Open the map to check out the layout of the Broken Delta and plan the next phase of your adventure. Okay. That's going to be heading south here. Oh, the camera, or I mean, the map moved out a whole lot more. Be heading south there. Um, there is one little area over here. What's this? My level is 11 right now. But I could go do this first. What's the, is there like a suggested level? Yeah, it's 14. Okay. Yeah, I think we'll end up doing that. And then what's down here? This is level 5. Really? I haven't gone down there? Wow, there's a lot of districts I haven't discovered. Level 7. There's probably more up here that I haven't even looked at. Oh, this... Well, never mind. We don't want to go up there. That's level 28. Does it tell me where... Okay, so this becomes level 12. And then this area is just level 15 and 14 recommended. Okay. Uh, level 8, investigate the deviation, deviated toy, investigate the electric deviation iron. Or electric iron, I mean, deviation, electric iron. Alright, yeah, let's, let's try doing this. Uh, if I can set the marker right here. And then... Yeah, we can just go straight there. It isn't. Uh, I don't know. There's specific like teleportation. Yeah, teleportation towers. Okay. Cool. It's not too far out either. So I'll do some of these little areas and then we'll go back to the main uh, objective again. 
because I don't want to spend too much time, but also I feel like in these types of games or like any type of MMO style or survival, it's always better to be a little bit over leveled than under leveled because uh, we might hit a, hit a difficulty spike. Where is this? Uh, is it down this road? Okay. It is. Revved up, achieve. I wonder if we'll end up moving our house again, too. It seems like a lot of houses shifted or got removed. All right, we'll take it right here. Yeah, I'm not sure what's up. I don't know if it's a server thing. I mean, I could check my settings. And see. Oh. Grab my... Using the bow during the boss fight, though, was, was actually kind of insane. The one negative, though, is I think this, this bow that I currently have is not... Uh, it, it's not mine. It's an item that I found, so I can't like repair it or anything. So when it's when it's done, it's done. Oh, I didn't even mean to get that one. All right, something something is up here. me try taking all this once i collect this quest or get this one started i'll like check my settings real fast because i don't know it's really stuttering all of a sudden strange toy the deviations are hiding find them with you facetime watch out for the explosive secure their de deviation in its true form Oh, what the heck? Wait, there's so many of them now. The gear deviation. That's one. Oh, that's an explosive one. This is interesting. Oh, jeez. What is happening? Here's the second one. Okay. Here's another one. Oh, jeez. This is fine. Let me secure it. It's like bugged and won't let me secure it now. Hello? All right, pick up this. These aren't explosives, right? It's only, there's specifically claymores sitting around. Okay, there we go. Come on, you can do it. All right, that's three. They're very sensitive. What the? <laughs> Oh, I see it. I see it. I'm jumping. What is happening? There's a floating hat here. I don't know. Something seems off right now. I totally get it. We're in uh, beta tests here. But something feels very off. Plush toy secured. Oh God. Victory, okay. 
We switch back to this world. I had a feeling something was going to change there, but I wasn't sure. Another guy in here. Got him. Got a few other drops. I'll go check up here. Weapon crate. Crate damage boost. Love to see that. All right. Let me check my settings. So I guess you guys can see this too. Just to see where we're at or what we're running. So I have a 3080 Ti and an i7 12th gen. Uh, we're on full screen. Move it back for a second. Performance, here we are. Max frame rate, render scale. I haven't changed any of this. We're also on the highest. Let's try bump it down to high. Oh, oh, oh. What the heck? What was that? Uh, that was very strange. Somebody was, sh uh, exactly where my body was at, shooting, and then they disappeared. I don't know if me, me changing my settings for a second there did something. All right, let's, uh, here's the plan. We're going to go ahead over here. Grab this tower, and then I'm going to wrap it around uh, towards this area, I think. Yeah, we'll because we'll go get this. We'll get this tower, get this, and then I'll probably make my way up here. I could always just teleport up there, too. This is nice. I will get back to the main story, though. I just want to try to get myself leveled. Um... It seems like that's what we need to do right now. I hope I'm going the right way. Oh, jeez. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what's going on here. Maybe they're having, like, server issues. I'm going to run and then spawn my bike in a more open area. I mean, I guess it is. So at the time I'm recording this, it's a Friday, so could be a little bit more popular, but I don't know. I'm not sure how many episodes I'll get out today or, or be able to work on today. Hey, geez, the world's freaking out right now, too. But since you guys have been enjoying it, I am going to kind of add this to my priority of me playing it a little bit more so that way I can get out as much as I can of the game and see how far we can go here. Um, and if we get past like 10 episodes or so, then we'll kind of, I'll, I'll look at it from there. Cause the, the other thing that's good about, you know, doing this now is right. It, this is all a test. This is all closed beta. This isn't full product. And personally, I like going into betas, playing them for a bit. And then I get to a point where I say, okay, I don't want to go any more than this because when the full game releases, I'm going to have to do all the same things over again, just in a more released and polished state, um, which for some games, that's a huge difference for other games. It, it really depends. Um, so. I mean, it'll be pretty cool being able to reference this and see the differences between that and this, but uh, I guess we'll see. Who knows? 
All right, we're just gonna Skyrim horse this hill right here. Hopefully. Come on, I'm, I'm like right there, but I think it's too steep. No. Come on, we can do this. If this isn't the way that you get up there, then how are you supposed to... Let's run around this way. I feel like I'm just going down further. It's weird because this over here, the one section looks like it's a road. Yeah, like right here. This actually looks like a road. If I put my bike here, will it just like fall off? Oh, oh, no, 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 no. Come on, you can do it. All right, maybe not. All right, we're going down. Let's see if we can find a different way up. Oh. This is fine. This is fine. Fantastic. All right, I don't really need the tower. I could just go, yeah, let's go just do the objective instead. That's fine. It seems like two, sorry, I'm opening it and closing the map. Yeah, you probably need to go up this road and then get all the way up there rather than go the, the easy, not so easy route that I was trying to take. I have yet to have my bike run out of fuel, so it'll be interesting to see once that happens. Jeez. We got any more guys? Can I, like, toss it? Okay. So this is the other deviation. The iron. Come on. Yeah, the, the interact button can be a little bit tough sometimes. So it's probably going to put me into that little instance again. V has marked where the deviation might be hiding. Oh, quick, 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 quick. Yeah. I would miss that. Alright. He's not in here. I don't think. Yeah, there's a book. What is happening? Why are they like a... <laughs> it's like a 3D picture. What? What, what is happening? <laughs> I can't look at their side. Is that part of this? <laughs> okay, they're back to normal now. Uh, whatever that was, that was something else. <laughs> it's a very odd glitch there. Alright, let's check this one. Oh my god, it's doing it again. That is funny. Yeah, we found three books. It's like when they turn sometimes it, it happens. I feel like I should probably... Yeah, let's see some food. Is this food? 
Oh, that's five. And then six. The heal. Yep. Yeah, there's something up. Maybe it's like the last update that they did. Kind of like mess some things. <laughs> like, I don't think it's supposed to be on the ground looking like that. <laughs> I think it's supposed to be like a 3D enemy. It's definitely unique though. And no doubt about that. How do I get up onto the uh, next floor? Try going back in here. Gotta be like a, see, I keep trying to go through that door there. There's no ladder right here. Maybe on the outside. Ah, right, here we go. There's some steps. Okay. It disappeared. Grabbing all the stuff that I can while we're here. Storage container. We got a house. I mean, not a, not a house. Got a couch. A couch for our house. Bro, this is... I don't know what's going on. Alright, another book. Secure the device. Let's see if I can collect it first. Got it. All right, get me out of here. Get me out. Get me out. Teleport me back. There it is. Switch to World 2 Phantom. Cool. So now it put us back here. The level five area. Um, sure, we're a hundred meters away. Well, let's go do this real fast. And then, you know what? After I do this, maybe we'll just go towards the next area and see what happens. Oh wait, the, oh, I'm um, right here. Wait, wait, where's the like little town though? Oh, it's probably this section right here. Oh no. No. <laughs> I bike. Stuck. Yeah, it's gonna be down here. Alright, let's try doing this. And then are there any other side missions? There's one. Oh, each of these districts have one. Level seven, level eight, level seven. We need to hand or report those stuff in. Outside Plaza. You're a bit thirsty. select my secondary what the heck is that oh I think it's the enemy that spotted me yep Holy.
Okay. Did I get it? All right, now we get, need to go this way. Wait. Oh, oh, there it is. Yeah, the, the indicator when you complete these are kind of tough. I mean, yes, you can see it, but it, I don't know. It's, it's weird. All right, stick out this guy. Go for the big one. Guy's level five and he's uh, pretty tanky even right now. Kill the rest of them? I think it did. Got all that. Okay. So what else do we need to find here? Still need to look for the mystical crate. The rift anchor is right over here. Find a weapon and gear crate. Something about exploring these areas has been pretty cool, though. I still really enjoy, like, kind of going through each of the houses and uh, seeing what they have. I mean, at this point, a lot of these locations are very similar to the other ones that we've been to. So I'm starting to get a little bit more familiar with them, but even with that... Um, I can definitely see this being like even more fun with at least one other friend like hey you want to go clear out this city all right cool let's go do it or like some of the other people that i i've seen streaming this game or playing it um a lot more of them have have run into people faster than like i kind of have like they'll regularly be searching a building and be like hey do you guys know where this thing's at because I, I think there's in-game voice chat, too. And I just, like, have not had that at all. And I'm pretty sure I'm on, like, a semi-populated server. So. Oh, there's something... see what their post is hidden treasure chest here press q that's hidden space time just thought i would try this out and wanted a nice place and end it up here haha -ha. <laughs> hit q and reveal your hidden treasure twitch wicked dark darkness <laughs> I, I'm looking. I don't see the chest. I'm pressing Q. Ripple in space time detected nearby. Get the chest, press Q. Maybe I need to clear something more? Maybe it's this stuff. Huh. 
try running over here. Yeah, that's the button I was pressing, so I'm not sure. While I'm running around pressing Q. Maybe it has something to do with this stuff on the wall, but normally it just shows up right away. I don't see, like, you could at, at least spot it one way or another. Grab that. All right. Let me try going back up one more time. I'm in world two. Like normally there's something buzzing or, or not really buzzing, but you see an, a little bit of an icon nearby. Like some sort of highlight, but it's just not, huh, weird. What if they're all like actually debating? There's nothing there. <laughs> just everyone is like, <laughs> let's put down a message saying that there's something here, but there's not. That'd be so easy to do. Have everybody running around in the same area looking for the same thing and it's not there the whole time. That's so like, oh man, it's not it's not actually here. I'm I'm gonna put a message too. I also wonder I, I haven't tried it yet, but so those things are called whispers and you you have to craft them and then you can put them down somewhere. But I I'm wonder uh I'm wondering if if you put one down if you can look at your own one and then edit it and add like or change something. I do have like a, a little task to be able to do one of those. So I haven't done it yet. Is there anything down here? What's this? A whole underground section down here. What the? Even goes further. There's the crate. Yeah, that's where it shows up for me. What the heck? I don't know what those people were talking about back there. <laughs> Congrats, you found the real crate. I should leave one here. Maybe it was previously there, though. I don't know. That's weird. Man, that, that thing always... That, like, ding... Kind of scares me for a second. All right, let's see. So we finished up this one. Cool. Um, we could go up here and go to this one. Supply line and active theft. Stardust infiltration. I'm about to be level 12. We're not far off from this, though. So it's kind of part of me that's just like, just go do it. Just get it done and then go back somewhere else. Sure, we'll go do this. Like I said, it doesn't hurt to get over level, but at the same time, I could. Um, all right, I think I have an idea. Might change pace. We could always just come back. All right, right? It's always simple as just traveling back here. 
if things don't work out. Put my bike out. So let's do this. Let me actually, this time, actually going to grab this objective. Right? We're going to go for this one. After I grab that, maybe I'll go down to the... Oh, 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 that's water. Let me back it up here. After I grab this fast travel point, I'll decide. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, I need to go this way. We need to turn around and then go up here. You know what? We'll, we'll keep doing these areas. We'll keep doing this, this area for a bit. Because I'm about to hit level 12. We're right here. I was planning on doing the other stuff. But in the other aspect of things, this will make it so that way I can get knock this stuff out in the meantime. And then hopefully by like the next episode, you know, once I wrap this one up, we can go right into the main story stuff. Because then hopefully by then I'll have at least two locations done or maybe three. And we get to explore a little bit more, you know, see what's different between each of these sections. Get a little bit over level. Oh. Somebody's got a house all the way up here. That's kind of nice. A cozy spot. Have it, I will say having to drive all the way up here though, to get to the top is probably gotta be a pain. No way that's easy. Okay. There's also an objective that just popped up up here. Damn. Let me grab the fast travel point first. What is that? Getting so many of them right now. Grab this. Try jumping down here. Teleportation tower activated. Beautiful. Ah, yes. The journey awaits. One second. Okay. All right. Yeah, I guess bumping down the graphics a little bit sort of helped. Because it's not, I, I notice it's not stuttering as much. There's still a little bit. I, I definitely feel like there's a little bit of jank, but it's not like as much as before.
Okay. Oh, here we go. Looking for these steps here. Chip locked loot crate. Please submit the correct item. <clears throat> it's a chip lock. Looks like you need four corresponding chip cards to unlock it. Perhaps I should search for other similar checkpoints. I'll come back when I found the item. Ah. Interesting. Okay. First time running into that. All right, let's go to the supply line. And then I don't think, I think we found a blueprint, but we didn't find a new, yeah, like I found a chest piece, but it was just a blueprint before. But I do have something new I could craft now. It's kind of cool. We're, we're going to run out of fuel and find out what happens when we run out of fuel. Taking a little shortcut, hopefully. Come on, come on. You can do this bike. Oh God, I'm gonna get reckless. Oh, nice. Okay, there's a lot of water down there. Oh no. Oh, this is fine. Just a little bit of a shortcut. What the heck is that? Like a car with a bunch of <clears throat> Bunch of poles through it. Still trying to grab my uh, my item items out or my guns. And a launcher. Okay. A lot of enemies here. Rescue all four union members. All right, let's get the one over here first. <laughs> it's happening. I need to keep looting them more because I'm, I'm kind of using my uh, arrows up faster. Also, I, I should probably get used to placing my camp somewhere closer because I'm getting to a point where a lot of times my camp's kind of far away. Uh, the union member doesn't look very trapped right there. Yeah, like this over here. Drop that. Are you good? What just happened? I thought, oh, okay. Roll here. Oh, roll out. Wow, that actually works. Let me check this. Craft with bare hands. Can I make any more arrows right here or some like copper arrows? I see regular arrows.
Sure. I'll make them just so I have them. Just in case. Can't go wrong with having some there. Okay. Just checking this. Cool. They're almost done. And once again, thank you guys for all the likes so far, wherever you are watching or when you're watching. I I appreciate all the support, like I said earlier in the, this episode. But thank you for, for watching these, because it, it really does help out a whole lot. And I'm, I'm glad so many people have enjoyed them. Normally, like, I'm going to be honest, most episodes, you, you put out, like, a part one for any YouTuber, for the most part, always does well, right? Um, once you get past, like, episodes five, sometimes there's even a huge drop-off from one and two. Um, but I've been, like, constantly kind of watching the these last few episodes, and they've been keeping pace with each other. With, uh, I think, like, even right now, looking at the most recent one that I did before this was a solid, like, 800. Which, uh, not, not every series does that, though. Cool to see. And I, I try to, uh, you know... I try to do something where each episode, in a way, like, even if you watched one, right? And then you miss two... And then you're like, oh, there's episode four. Let me see where he's at now and, like, what he's up to now. Um, I try to have, like, a little bit of, objecti of an objective during each episode. So that way it's like, okay, this isn't just the... Uh, you, you can jump in at any time, you know? And for a game like this, I feel like it, it actually works great in that aspect. Because... It, Yes, there is a story, but at the same time, there's a lot of exploration. There's a lot of different locations, areas you can go to, areas you can explore, all that fun stuff. And feel free, like, if, if some of you have watched or, like, already played this and you're just, like, want to watch somebody else play, if you have any tips, I am completely open to them. Um... That is totally fine, because at the end of the day, I mean, I'm always playing all types of different games. Uh, whoa. This is interesting. Uh... Whoa. That's kind of cool. Whatever I just did right there. Believer's Loot Crate. Huh. Oh. First gun. <laughs> First time using a gun. Yeah, this actually feels pretty good. I like it. I have been enjoying using that the arrow, though. Like, not going to lie, it's it's been kind of nice. One hitting most of the enemies is kind of relaxing in a way. We got some more arrows. All right, we got one more guy to save. Still, it's definitely stuttering again here and there. What is that? Well, I do not like that. <laughs> what in the Toy Story horror story was that? Oh, God. There's a baby head. Nightmare fuel. A little bit of nightmare fuel. Oh. Confirm the escape. All right, sweet. We did that one. We still need to find one more weapon crate and one more weapon crate. I 
Activate the rift anchor. Do. Oh, it's over here. There's a lot of enemies in this district. And it, it's interesting because they're all not like dying instantly. It's actually taking out one or two hits. Some of them. I mean, not all, but. What did their message say? All three crates are located in that big old tower over yonder. Mystic on the bottom, one on mid, and one on the tippy top. Ah, yeah, that's so, I love that. That person went out of their way. So they, they went out of their way in order to find all the crates and then afterwards go back and leave that icon right there or that whisper right in the rift anchor for people to know. That's so cool. I'm gonna use the gun. Maybe not, maybe not. Okay. place is very cult-like right now. This looks sick, though. Found this. Blast suit. Oh, oh, there's the baby thing. Or one of. Alright, let me try controlling this. I did see, uh, hold on, let me actually go back down. Grab this. Little storage crate. What's that? Kelly Hill Nurse. All right, boneheads. The suicide note was written for you guys. Better believe it. Uh, press. Remember, I saw you guys drag Alice away too. Now you're playing. You know what? All these years I've been working. You know what else? I think I'm gonna enjoy what happens next. In fact, I'm gonna be savior every last morsel. Huh. There's there's a lot of aspects of this game that that reminds me a lot of uh, the Secret World, which was a, a pretty cool MMO that I, I always wish it like did a little bit better than it than it did, but... But it's got a lot of, like, mystery and, and I don't know, cool, cool aspects to it. There's another launcher. There's something down here. Alarm clock. Something right here. Aha. Let me clear up my sanity a bit. And then let's heal. We're also thirsty. And we'll eat something. Drink one more time. So we're only missing the one uh, chest now. Go up ramp, chest upstairs. That's so cool. I love that. I hate this stuff. <laughs> nice. 
There we go. Complete season goals. There's still... Oh, wait. That's still not it. Got to keep going. I think it's all the way... I mean, somebody said at the tippy top. So... Tippy tippy top. There it is. Got it. Coastside Plaza. We found some indications that survivors had taken a residence in Coastside Plaza. It seems that the place has served as a refugee for a year or two after the starfall. Not anymore. The place just stands empty now. Can't imagine how desperate these people have been towards the end. But it wasn't Deviants or the Grey One that destroyed this place. It wasn't even the slow, painful creep that started us. It was the survivors themselves. They tore this place apart from the inside out. A premeditated assault on what little peace and stability that they had managed to create. Damn. Ooh. Ouch. That's a little... Yeah. Gotta hurt. Search the inspection point in the Dayton wet, what, wetlands and find the chip card. Oh, I think that connects back to this one. Yeah, it does. These are the same thing. Oh, that's cool. That I I actually like that. Some people might not be the biggest fan, but I like that it shows you. Like, hey, the chip card for this thing is right over here. I kind of like that. Alright, let's run down here. Oh, sweet. There's a way outside here, too. I mean, I could go get it. I don't have to, but... There's the inspection point. Back on the road again. Yeah, this place is huge. What is that? Oh, I had a feeling. I had a feeling that was going to be an enemy. Uh... I'm good for right now. Because <laughs> I want to try to go get this. Here's the uh, teleportation tower. Black bear, like the post, please. Sure. Oh, there's multiple spots for the... Oh, okay. I'll get the chip card right here, but... Also, this they're level one. Right. There's so many markers outside the door. I don't like that. Well, let me see what one of them says. 9274. Okay. Nine two seven four safe code. It's get, uh, those little like interactions and stuff and messages that people leave really makes me want to play like Death Stranding again. Is there something so special about like community that leaves messages for other players or like being able to do that kind of stuff? I think it's so cool. So simple, but yet like it makes everything just feel connected. 
even though like in the at the end of the day like you you're all having your own experiences I don't see the safe though that they're talking about Try going back up here. Oh, unless if it's that thing. S code nine two seven four. Seven four. Is this maybe this door is normally locked? I don't know. I'm so confused. Abnormally matters. I haven't found the door yet. Unless of it, maybe it's that thing. There we go. Nine, two, seven, four. Thank you, chat. Thank you, community. Okay. Let's see. We got that one. I want to try to teleport back and hand in the other quest that we did, the deviation one. Can I go up through this? Entered swamp. Okay, cool. Uh, teleport. Oh, you have to go to a teleportation tower nearby. Uh, what's the... Why am I drawing a blank? F? B? There it is, G. Okay. Teleport over here. We'll go ahead and in this quest. Then, uh, yeah, then we'll go from there. Let's see what we got. Made some decent progress here. Yeah, that, that person stuck, like, putting their weapon away and then taking it back out. There we go. Wait. Did I have a quest? Yeah, I do. There it is. Uh, talk to Low. Talk about the deviation toy. A stuffed animal can create illusions. I found this weird stuffed alpaca. The little guy pulled me into a space full of copies of itself, and I had to hunt it down out of hundreds of fakes. These deviations are uh, far less powerful than the great ones, but they still have the ability to use rift space. The most common way for deviations to resist being secured is by creating a miniature rift space and then setting the rules in this space based on their own abilities. Luckily, you saw through its tricks and didn't fall in too deep. Huh. Weird. What would happen if I did? It wouldn't have been the end of the world, but... You might have been turned into a stuffed alpaca. <laughs> you know, one thing I forgot that I still haven't done, I'm still wearing the the default face mask. I've been wanting to swap that out for a bit now. I right, let's talk to Lo about the deviation electric iron. So, I 
I found this deviation that looks like an iron. It flattened out nearby deviants, beasts, even a gang of vultures, and turned them all into monsters in this 2D space it created. Huh. I'd consider all those things monsters in 3D, too. But the ability to affect <laughs> dimensions. Hmm. You probably only saw a fraction of this iron's power. Thanks for letting me know about this, Meta. I'll be careful with this one. It deserves a special, very well-monitored spot in the securement vault. Hmm. Okay. Search for the points. All right, that's another one of those. I guess these are the other two chips available. All right, well, we're going to leave that this episode right here. So if you guys enjoyed this, again, leave a like on it. Thank you for watching all of these. Uh, if you guys want to stop by this live stream, I go live typically around 5.30 p.m. Eastern and then uh, weekends around 9 a.m. Eastern. I'm hoping to have some more episodes of this out soon. I'm going to kind of prioritize this for a little bit, this game. So I am going to record a second one right now. And then most likely next week early, I will uh, do my best to record like at least two more. That way we've got uh, a steady pace of these. So yeah, for right now, thanks for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already. Leave a like on the video and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.